And with the Prime Minister, John Major at Huntingdon, the man who's waiting to see if the country has endorsed the choice the Tory party made in November 1990. And now our exit poll, based on talking to lots of people as they came out of the polls today in some of the key marginal constituencies, just like any other poll, it has its range of error one way and the other, but it's just a first indication of the story we may be getting as the night goes on. I won't give it to you till 10 o'clock in case you still want to vote. But here we are, 10 o'clock, and our view is it's going to be a hung parliament. This election is too close to call. We're saying it could be, from the Conservatives, short by 10 of an overall majority, to Labour, the largest party, and short by 13 of an overall majority. And the likeliest outcome is the Conservatives short by 25, which would leave John Major, possibly as Prime Minister, but having to put together, make some arrangements with other parties or rely on other parties not to vote him out, to get the 326 he needs. We're saying at the moment the Conservatives are likely to be short by 25 of the 326, but as you see from that screen, it's possible that the Labour Party will be short by only 13 and that they will be the largest party, thus completely changing the political complexion. is one of the safest seats in the country. But on the widest scene, we're going to have to wait about five hours until we hear from the Prime Minister himself. Thanks, Kate. And as Big Ben strikes 10, the polls close, we can give you the results of our exit poll. We've spoken to 14,000 people in 200 constituencies tonight, and uh, we hope they've been telling us the truth. There it is, 10 o'clock, and we say, Tony Blair is to be Prime Minister, and a landslide is likely. And reaction from Sedgefield already down there on the right in the Labour Club. All applauding there. Conservative Party headquarters. Rather more sombre scenes. So here are the details. Tony Blair to be Prime Minister. And this is why. Labour, 47%. The Conservatives, 29%, according to our exit poll. That would be the worst result, not just this century, but if you care to go back that far, to the Tory vote after the Great Reform Act in 1932 when they were led by the Duke of Wellington. The Liberal Democrats on 18%, pretty much what they did at the last election, others on 6 And once Big Ben strikes 10 and the last vote is cast, we'll have our exit poll predicting the result. The famous exit poll, the last poll of the election, sometimes right, sometimes not quite so right. NOP this time have asked 18,000 voters in constituencies across the country to fill in a simulated ballot paper outside the polling station just after they have voted. And fingers crossed, if they've been filled in truthfully, we won't have egg on our faces when the real results start coming through in three quarters of an hour. And our exit poll says another Labour landslide. Tony Blair has won that second full term for Labour that was always his ambition. We are saying a Labour majority of around 160. It could be a bit either side of that. It could even be above the 179 that they had last time. Well, that's their first reactions, but let's now find out exactly how this exit poll came about, what it actually says about the percentage of the vote, Peter. David, we talked about 18,000 people, and here's what they told us. The share of the vote. And if you think this looks awfully like that staggering Labour success in 1997, you'd be very right. 44% the Labour Party, 32% the Conservative Party, 17% the Liberal Democrats, and 6% the others. Well, now, the first event of election night is the exit poll. It's our first clue to what's happened today in the voting. And this year, we've joined forces with ITV for this poll. It's an NOP Mori poll. 
We've spoken to over 16,000 voters at 120 polling stations at huge expense out of 146,000 or so, 46,000 I think it is, polling stations. So what credence are we going to give to this when it comes through in just a moment? The exit poll is an absolutely fascinating clue, no question, but it's no more than that. Usually the clue is right, but famously in 1992 it was completely wrong. The exit poll said a Labour government, the voters said a Tory government. As Big Ben strikes 10, the polling stations will close. It will be too late to vote. And I can give you the result of our exit poll, which is this election has been won by Labour, but with a majority down from 160 to 66. The Conservatives are on 209. That's a gain of around 44 seats. A disappointing night if the poll is right for the Liberal Democrats. They're on... 53 they gain around two seats so there is the exit poll now in a moment as big ben strikes 10 we'll be able to give the result of our exit poll for the first time not an opinion It's going to be a hung parliament with the Conservatives as the largest party. And the figures, the Conservatives on 307, short by 19 of the 326 they'd need for an overall majority. Labour on 255, the Liberal Democrats on 59, and others on 29. And uh, if that's right, the Liberal Democrats, despite all that noise and fury, have actually dropped three seats, which could be one reason why you need to be a bit sceptical about this exit poll. To make so we better get started. First, with our exit poll, which even now I can't reveal until Big Ben strikes. 10, remember this is an exit poll, very carefully calculated, not necessarily on the nail. But here it is, 10 o'clock, and we are saying the Conservatives are the largest party. And here are the figures which we have, quite remarkable this exit poll, the Conservatives on 316, that's up nine since the last election in 2010. Ed Miliband for Labour, 77 behind him at 239, down 19 from the last election. And the other parties, the Liberal Democrats and the Scottish National Party. Look at the Scottish National Party, 58 for Nicola Sturgeon. That's every seat but one in Scotland taken by the SNP. Nick Clegg, for the Liberal Democrats on 10, that's down 47 from the last election. There are just over 20 seconds to go till Big Ben strikes 10. Then I'll be able to reveal the results of the BBC, ITV and Sky joint poll. Over 30,000 people, 144 polling stations were questioned today and by the magic of sophology we're able to predict what we think has happened tonight. And what we're saying is the Conservatives are the largest party. Note they don't have an overall majority at this stage. 314 for the Conservatives, that's down 17. 266 for Labour, that's up 34. The SNP, the Scottish National Party, 34, down 22. Treat that figure with a bit of caution for technical reasons about the exit poll, which I don't need to explain right now. The Liberal Democrats on 14, up six. And the smaller parties, 
Plaid Cymru stays on three, the Greens on one, none for UKIP, and the others 18. So here we are. We are just seconds away from the result of the exit poll. Our first prediction of the potential outcome of this election. More than 20,000 people were asked how they voted today at 144 polling stations right across the UK on behalf of the BBC, ITV and Sky. So as Big Ben reaches 10 o'clock, we are standing by with those crucial exit poll figures here they are. Our exit poll is suggesting that there will be a Conservative majority when all the votes are counted after this election of December 2019. The Conservatives on 368 seats and Labour way down on 191. Now, on those figures, we are looking at a Conservative majority of 86 if the votes actually tally up with this prediction. Let's look at the wider picture. And here we have the uh, figures for all the parties. The Conservatives, we are suggesting on 368, that is a rise of 50 seats in this uh, election, as suggested by the exit poll. Labour on 191, suffering as many as 71 losses. That's the suggestion of the poll. And the SNP on 55, making some 20 gains. The Lib Dems on 13, uh, up just one seat. Plaid Cymru on three, losing a seat. The Greens on one, no change. The Brexit party not winning any seats, according to this exit poll. And the others, uh, most of those in Northern Ireland, uh, making up 19.